Are you ready to hit the easy button on content creation? In this video, I'm excited to share with you my new Jasper recipe for writing a thousand plus word how-to article in under 10 minutes. If you're new to my channel, my name is Corey Alexander. I'm a writer, content creator, and Jasper certified expert. I'm here to share with you everything I know about how to make money online with your writing. So if you wanna be kept in the loop on all my latest money-making writing tips, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Quick disclosure, I am an affiliate for Jasper and there are affiliate links in the description box below. What this means is that if you click on one of those links and make a purchase, I may make a commission at no extra cost to you. I use Jasper myself every day in my business, which is why I'm proud to be an affiliate. All right, so in my last video, I showed you how to write an SEO optimized blog post using Jasper. And I went through step-by-step step what kind of commands to use to get Jasper to generate the kind of content you want quickly. And while I was making the edits to that video, I found myself wondering, how can I make this even faster and easier? And then I realized that I could create a blog post Jasper recipe that would help you rip through your blog post creation like a boss. If you're not familiar with recipes, they're essentially a set of pre-written instructions and commands that help you create a specific type of content really fast. Any Jasper member can make a recipe and they can choose to make them public or share them with the Jasper community. I love creating and using recipes, and I've already shared a couple with you guys, like the one I did for writing a long form sales page, and I did another one recently for writing cold emails. So I got to work on creating another one, and I'm very proud to present to you the 10 minute how to blog post recipe. This recipe is designed to help you write a long form how to article that's between 1000 and 2000 words long using a series of commands and instructions that I have had a lot of success using in my own blogging projects. I love how to posts because they often make great keywords for Google search and they provide useful, interesting content for your reader that helps them solve a specific problem. So you see these articles everywhere like how to lose 10 pounds, how to bake a cake, how to clean your car, etc. And chances are that if you did some keyword research using the method I showed you in my previous video, then you probably already have a few how-to topic ideas kicking around in your content planner ready to go. So without further ado, let's run through this together so you can see how it works. So I'll drop a link to the recipe in the description box, and all you have to do is click on that and you'll be brought to this screen. So just a reminder that you do need a Jasper account to use this recipe and you do need to be on the boss mode plan so you can access the long form editor. So once you're on the screen, you're just going to click this purple button that says run and it's going to start a new document for us, but it copies over all the commands. Okay, so at the top here, we just have a couple fields we need to fill in keyword phrase. So that would be the how to topic that you're going to cover in the article and the reader's desired result, which basically is the same thing, but you're just removing the how to. So for example, I'm going to do how to grow a YouTube channel. Cause that's something that I'm really interested in right now. And then for the reader's desired result, it's just going to be grow a YouTube channel. So before we get started, I'm just going to go over how this works. So anytime you see these little squiggly brackets here, we're going to replace that with the relevant information. And anytime you see an arrow next to a line, this is a command for Jasper. So when you see that, you're going to fill in any relevant information, and then you're gonna put your cursor at the end of the line and hit command return on your keyboard. The command will disappear, and then Jasper will replace it with written content as instructed. Lastly, if we scroll down a little bit here, you will see there are some sections with information in brackets, and these are just instructions to you. So once you follow the instruction, you can delete it. And before we actually go through the recipe, I just want to mention a couple of things to keep in mind. So the first thing is that Jasper doesn't always get it right the first time. So if his first output isn't ideal or isn't that great, just undo it with Control Z and try it again. The second thing is that this recipe is designed to keep Jasper on track and following a specific structure. However, Jasper is really great at recognizing patterns in the article, so you may find that you don't need to run every single command because after the first few paragraphs into the first talking point, he kind of gets what you're doing and he will continue on with that pattern. But sometimes he doesn't pick it up and that's why we have these instructions repeated throughout the post 
to keep him on course if necessary. But other than that, all we're really gonna do here is move down the recipe one line at a time. Okay, so watch how fast this goes. So for write an outline, I'm going to replace that with how to grow a YouTube channel. So we put that in this field here and we're just gonna hit command return. So I'm not crazy about that outline. I'm gonna get him to try it again. Okay, that looks good to me. So moving down to the next line, write a content brief containing the above outline. Command return. Okay, so that looks pretty good to me. I'm just going to change this to write an article, a two article. And I'm going to take this and paste it into the description box. I'm going to grab this again, move down to here, write a list of write a list of keyword phrase title ideas. All right, and the reason why I do this is because even though we want our title to contain the keyword phrase, we also want to make it a little bit more interesting and have a headline that is engaging enough that the reader will actually click on it. So uh, let's see, how to get more views on YouTube videos, how to grow your YouTube channel quickly and easily. 20 tips for success. I think I like that one best, so let's use that. make that the H1. Okay, and then we're moving down to the next line. Introduce a relatable scenario in the second person, introducing some reasons why someone might want to read his desired result. So I'm just going to grab this up here, paste it in here, and hit command return. So a lot of the time he will generate and kind of keep going. A lot of the times I'll just take the first part of what he writes and delete the last part so that I can keep him on track with what I want to do. So I'm going to delete all this, some of the challenges. They don't have a clear plan of action. So we're agitating the problem to make the reader realize they need to learn how to do this going to delete that. Write a sentence introducing sympathizing with the reader struggles and introduce the body of the article. You're not, you may be feeling frustrated because you've been trying to grow your YouTube channel for a while and it's not happening. You're not alone. A lot of people feel this way and it can be discouraging, but don't give up yet. There are things you can do to improve your chances of success. In this article, we out on the steps you need to take in order to grow your channel. We know that following these tips will help you reach new heights and achieve your goals. I love it. Okay. So next stage here, copy and paste heading one from the outline as an H2 here. So now we're going up here, grabbing this first point and replacing it here. And we're turning that into an H2. Okay. And then introduce the importance of, and then I actually will change the verbiage here just to make it grammatically correct. I don't know if it matters, but I do that. Choosing the right niche is essential. Here are a few tips. So it looks like he's already doing some subheadings here, but I'm going to, just for the purpose of this demonstration, just get him to write a list of subheading topics. All right, perfect. So let's use this. And then we're gonna turn these into H3. Right, so that's the instruction here. H3, each subheading and click compose one to two times under each subheading. So this is how we get the article to a good length. Okay. 
Okay, I think those first three will do us. So let's try that. And then we're gonna hit compose. What do you already know about? Okay, so see, he's trying to move on to the second talking point, but we're not done here yet. So I'm going to delete that. What are you passionate about is a little bit like what your interests are. And let's try this last one here. Okay, so now he's going on to the second outline already. So create how high quality videos is our second talking point. So we're going to H2 that and which as you see is the next instruction here right copy and paste heading two so even though i have this instruction here jasper is already doing it so because he's already following the structure i want him to follow i'm just going to delete this and we're just going to keep going to introduce the importance of creating high quality oops creating high quality videos. Great. But see, now he's doing the subtopics automatically because he's following the pattern of the article. So we're just going to let him run with this. Video footage. I'm not sure I like that. Okay, so now he's moving on to the third talking point upload new videos. Let's just double check that's the same one we got up here. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to H2 this. Topics for. Introduce the importance of loading new videos regularly, let's say. Regularly. So for talking point number three, we, it's not really the kind of thing where we can necessarily use subheadings. We kind of just covered it all in a couple of short paragraphs, but that's okay. We can just go on with the next one here. I'm just going to check that number four that he came up with is still following our outline, which it is. And we're just going to move this up. of using keywords and tags in your videos. Very relevant. Okay, let's try and get some subheadings here. using keywords and tags. And then we'll just add a transition sentence here. Description box. So we have two talking points here. That's good enough for me.
Okay, we already covered that. So now he's moved, he wanted to move on to number five, connect with other YouTubers and collaborate. Let's see if that follows our outline, which it does. So as you can see, he's really good at following patterns. So that's why we don't necessarily need to follow every instruction, but the instruction is there to keep him on track. Okay, so he's giving us some subheadings, but let's use our, let's use our, uh, Networking. Let's do cross promotion. Okay, now he's moved on to number six, engage with viewers and build community, which follows our outline still, so good stuff. I'm just gonna let him run with it now because he has a pretty good handle on the structure of the article. Okay, that's good enough. And we had one more, monetize your channel. So I'd only included instructions here for five talking points, but you, if you know you're gonna have more than five talking points, you can just duplicate the instructions. I'm just gonna compose here and get him to run with it. Right, and now let's just do a conclusion. And then we end with an FAQ. Now, as I mentioned in my last video about writing an SEO optimized blog post, FAQs are great because it adds a lot of extra content that maybe didn't fit earlier in the article. And it's also good for Google search. Sometimes they take snippets from the FAQ. So I like to add them at the end of the article and Jasper is great with these. You just put them on long output and then just hit compose and let them run with it. Okay. 
All right, so that's it. We have a nice FAQ here and we have a nice long 2000 plus word article that only took us a few minutes to write. All right, so once again, you can find a link to the recipe in the description box below. And if you don't have a Jasper account yet, you can also find a special link for a free trial offer. So be sure to check that out. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. And if you have any feedback or questions or comments or anything like that, please drop them in the comments below and I will be around to answer. Thanks for watching and happy how-to blogging.